On this episode of Let's Talk Drones, we're talking about the flight endurance or the battery life on the DJI Air 3S. Is this thing gonna live up to expectations? Let's find out. Let's Talk Drones. What's up? It's Chris, the Drone Geek, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company. Check them out at thedroningcompany.com across all major social media platforms. And make sure you get subscribed to their YouTube channel if you haven't already. Lots of great drone content there, including content made by yours truly, as well as Sam Carp, Tim Brazell, and many other friends of the channel. The Droning Company at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. I am feeling markedly better and I just got back from a work trip in California. So I'm feeling refreshed, I'm feeling recharged. I'm sorry I went a little bit longer than I wanted to before getting this video out. I just have been so busy and then on top of that, I got sick and I was miserable. It was awful. But I am here, I'm ready to continue the review process on the DJI Air 3S. This video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point, relatively speaking. We are looking at one particular feature of this drone and that is the flight endurance or battery life of the Air 3S. Now, DJI says that the Air 3S is capable of up to 45 minute flights on one charge. We're gonna see if that's true. And I wanna remind you, just as I do in every video where I touch on flight endurance and battery life, that the spec that's shared with you by the manufacturer for that maximum flight time is from testing that occurs in perfect conditions. And a lot of those can sometimes be theoretical too, where the manufacturer looks at performance and then considers ideal conditions and does some sort of an equation that equates out to this flight time spec that they share with you in their marketing and on the packaging and in the manual for whatever drone it may be. When we put the drone in the air, we will be conducting three different flights where we will gather our data from. The first flight is going to be just hovering the Air 3S. We will stay in one spot and allow the drone just to hover for as long as it possibly can. Flight number two will consist of flying patterns with the Air 3S. I will essentially just be flying the drone around in the immediate area so that you can see how that affects the flight time of the drone when the drone is constantly in movement. I am aware that most people don't just move the drone the entire flight. They'll stop, they'll allow the drone to hover, they'll make decisions as the drone's hovering. It's not always under constant flight stress, but when we're talking about flight endurance, I think having one of these passes be where the drone is just basically constantly moving will allow us to collect some data that will potentially factor in the fact that most people don't just launch their drone and hover it for however long they can hover it for. They're going to be moving the drone around quite a bit. Flight number three, we'll be recording 4K video at 60 frames per second for a portion of it. And then I will also go ahead and take some photos as well during that flight so you can see how the battery is affected when recording and capturing media. A caveat with this is that I won't be draining the batteries down to zero. It's not good for the batteries. And really, I don't like to drain my batteries down past 20%. But because this is a video where I'm trying to share valuable information with you, I am going to make an exception and I'm going to drain the battery down to 10% on each of these three flights. We will do an adjustment at the end of the video where we talk about total flight time from zero to 100%, or I guess in this case, 100% to 0% battery, but I won't actually actually be running my batteries down to 0% in this particular video. Okay, now let's put this thing in the air.
after three incredibly long and strenuous flights, I think the Air 3S deserves a break. So I'm just going to set him aside here. Now let's talk about what we found for each of these flights. As we take a look at how the Air 3S performed in our flight test, I do just want to remind you that DJI rates the Air 3S as having a maximum flight time of around 45 minutes. Again, remember, this is in ideal conditions. That means no wind, mild ambient temperatures. The drone is flying well within the maximum performance specs. If any of those things are off, it is not considered ideal conditions, and it will be very difficult to achieve 45 minutes of flight time. Also remember, we are not draining the battery from 100% down to 0%. We're draining the battery from 100% down to 10%. So we're going to do a quick equation at the end of all of this once I share this data with you to adjust for that so you can get a more accurate flight time based upon the fact that we stopped 10% short. On flight number one, which was our hover only flight, the Air 3S stayed airborne for 32 minutes and 25 seconds before we needed to land. On flight number two, which was our simulated flying patterns flight, the DJI Air 3S stayed airborne for 31 minutes and 49 seconds. And on flight number three, where we recorded 4K 60 video and and shot some raw photos, the Air 3S stayed airborne for 32 minutes and 39 seconds. So when we look at the Air 3S's performance compared to the specs that DJI shared with us, you'll see that we fall pretty short of the spec out maximum flight time. 45 minutes is what DJI said we could get, and in almost every case, we fell between 12 and 13 minutes short of that flight time. However, again, we stopped the flight with 10% battery left in the charge so let's take a look at how we need to adjust for that to get a more accurate number as to what the actual flight time is for the air 3s so in order to determine what the actual flight time would be if we ran the battery down to zero what we need to do is basically take all of those times convert them into seconds and then we need to take those seconds figure out what 10% of those seconds are, and then build everything back up in two minutes. I'm not gonna go ahead and bore you with a math lesson in that regard. I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you what I found when I did that equation. When adjusting for that 10% differential, on flight number one, the hover only test, we flew for about 35 minutes and 39 seconds. Flight number two, which was our simulated flying patterns test, we flew for 34 minutes and 59 seconds, and on flight number three, which was recording 4K 60 video and shooting raw photos while in flight, we flew for 35 minutes and 55 seconds. But even after adjusting for the 10% that we left in the battery at the end of each of those flight tests, we're falling about 10 minutes short across each flight. What gives? What's the deal? It comes back to those less than ideal conditions. Now, it was a pretty mild day outside in north central Pennsylvania, but we didn't have no wind. In fact, our wind was about four to five miles per hour sustained with gusts around six to seven miles per hour. So not a terribly strong wind, certainly not by any stretch of the imagination, but it still made the Air 3S work harder than it would need to in absolutely no wind. On top of that, we did enter into a colder part of the day. It wasn't cold as in freezing temperatures, and it certainly wasn't pushing the battery to its limits, but it wasn't a nice balmy 70 or 75 degrees. We were around 55 degrees throughout the entire flight, and when you put the drone up to about 230 feet, which is where we stood for most of the test, it's only going to be colder up there, especially as the wind blows through and just chills the air a little bit more and finally other than the hover test we were actually putting the drone through its paces we were flying the drone around in a crazy pattern all around the immediate area that i flew in and of course recording 4k 60 video and d log m and then shooting raw photos that's going to chew up some battery as well but even keeping all of that in mind and understanding that we didn't fly in ideal conditions, and obviously we were putting the drone through its paces on at least two of the three tests. I'm disappointed with the flight time on the Air 3S. Is it terrible? Not by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not going to cry about getting around 32 to 35 minutes of flight time, give or take. That's a fantastic battery life, especially when you have three batteries to work with. But when DJI is marketing the drone to be capable of, of 45 minute flight times and you fall 10 minutes short consistently across the board, that's a little bit of an eyebrow raiser if you ask me. But what did you think? 
Are you also disappointed with the flight times that you're able to achieve with the Air 3S or am I being dramatic? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up icon down below. It helps me out a lot, helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself. If you really like this video and you love drone content shot by drones, about drones, and for drone pilots, my friend, this is the channel for you. Make sure you get subscribed if you haven't already. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon too. You'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Until next time, I'm Chris the Drone Geek, and I'm out of here. See ya. Yo, yo, what you say? Steady screaming, yo,